is Brad, and uh, I just had to share this with you. It's really cool. Uh, this is Drew with Brain Trust Creative. He's a good friend of ours. Uh, was influential in a lot of the features that we added to PVP3. And he just procured an iMac Pro uh, for a special project that we're doing with a unnamed client. And uh, it was really cool. He was actually generating some things in After Effects. And I think you said that a render that you had for this project that. By the way, this project involves like videos that are 12,000 pixels by 1080 pixels. Um, and a render that you had that was 40 minutes in, on your Mac Pro trash can took, took nine minutes on yeah, Mac Pro. That's yeah. astounding. So we really wanted to see what PVP3 was capable of um, to see its uh, applicability towards special projects as a, as a media server when we're getting a lot of 4K content and whatnot. So this is just kind of ridiculous. And yes, it looks very much like a garage works kind of uh, setup here. Um, but we've actually got four 4K displays connected. One here, one there, one over here, and then we're actually using an HA5 HA 4K back here to just kind of split up the SDIs. And then simultaneously outputting four SDI feeds through a Blackmagic deck link. It's oh, it's eight, sorry. It's eight. I wouldn't want to take away the extra four. So there's eight, uh, four, uh, eight 1080p feeds going through SDI here. Um, so there are a number of different layouts. Four 4K 60 and eight 1080i 60, which is the equivalent of six 4K 60s, or if you're doing the math, 24 1080p 60s. Yeah. All, all at the same time. Right. So he, we have custom content for this, for this project that we're actually working on, but because we can't actually show you that content, um, we just kind of loaded some things up here just to demonstrate that it's actually all running. But the power of this thing is really incredible. Um, I think you said the way you have this configured, it's 10, 10 cores, and then the yep. upgraded graphics card. Yep. So it was about $6,300 um, for this machine. And then we're outputting, you know, again, via the, the Thunderbolt 3 ports that are in here. So you can actually see on the layout, it's kind of ridiculous. All of these being 1080 because we're actually treating them and breaking up the 4K screens into separate, uh, separate screens. Um, yeah, so it comes out to be about 24 screens arrayed across essentially what is eight and a half K of output. It's not absurd. It's not. Uh, and so one of the videos that he actually has, well, a lot of the videos that we have are, what is it, 11,986? So the total raster for our client's project is 23,688 by 1080. Okay. Yeah. And that's half of it. So the other half that's going to be in front of the audience is about 12,000 by 1024 or somewhere in there. Yeah. So that's about 8K worth of content. Oh, it's exactly what we had in mind when we were <laughs> writing PDP3, of course. Um, so in, in the absence of it, we'll, we'll show some eye candy on here. It's, it's somewhat low res, but just to show you that we're actually outputting uh, content to all these different areas. So yeah, so well, before I do that, if you go, if you go here and we identify, uh, we actually identify our screens, you can see that all of these are divided up into individual 1080s. These are all 4K feeds. That's showing two of the four of this. The eight, we actually don't have enough monitors to even view all this, but <laughs> I have an SDI line here where you can check them all. Um, so it is all there and active. Um, so if I start just firing off videos to different layers, so right off the bat, 24 videos, that's two different videos playing at the same time, up to about 12 outputs each. Um, 60 FPS, no problem. When we start getting into to adding more stuff, if I start adding a video, uh, that's another layer playing to about 12 outputs with an effect on it, a blend mode, and transparency. Um, I can just start layering more crap in here. It'll start to look really stupid. Yeah. Um, if I fire this one, you can see we've actually got six 1080 H.264 videos playing, every layer arrayed differently with different effects different blend modes and different transparency. <laughs> and here's actually my favorite part when we notice this. I look down at the CPU monitor. Right here. And, uh, and that's what it's doing, which is nothing. And it tells me that my system is 83% idle. <laughs> so. While, while playing back 24 or six layers of 1080 video across 24 outputs in different ways with effects, blend modes, and transparency. Yeah, it's so pretty, it's pretty dumb. It's fun that this is a project that kind of came about you know, a month after the iMac Pro has come out, and uh, you know you bought it really just for the rendering purposes, just to have the, the, the computer time and the cycles to actually render all the content for this. But yeah. um, 
it's fun to actually start playing with PVP and just see what we can actually do as a media server on what is still, I think, considered a consumer level machine. Any machine that you can actually go down the street to a store and purchase, I would consider you know, a readily available consumer machine. But uh, it's really just a, it is a powerhouse. Um, and uh, I, you know, we're really looking forward to seeing what we can actually accomplish and hopefully perhaps even use it at this, at this show uh, that we're talking about. Because we were talking about having multiple machines and now we can actually do everything that we wanted to do with multiple machines with a single computer. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to share it with you. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.